Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we are at Iveco Retail in Reading to look at the 2022 Iveco Daily Line minibus. So this vehicle is supplied by Iveco Retail and it's factory built. It's a 22 seater plus driver. Also has a Delonda wheelchair lift fitted. The daily line is powered by a 3 litre diesel engine that has a 180 horsepower, although there is an option for 207 horsepower. And it is driven for an 8 speed Hymatic gearbox. A 6 speed manual gearbox is an option. But this vehicle comes with the Hymatic auto gearbox. You can see the selector here. As you can see, the Iveco Daily Line features substantial ground clearance. So it's ideal for rural operations as well as city. It also features air suspension at the rear of the vehicle. It's fitted with dual wheels on the rear, which are Continental 225-75R 16Cs. can see the spare tyre is located underneath the vehicle. But all around the exterior of the vehicle you have these durable panels. The front bumper is three piece so if a corner gets damaged it will only be the corner that needs replacing. So these panels are quite tough. So rather than taking out the metal work, it would only be one panel if there was any accident damage. Got your side marker lights built into those panels. Taking a look underneath the vehicle. As you can see, the exhaust pipe is there. You can just about make out the airbag setup at the rear. Got your wheelchair request button, exterior of the vehicle, marker lights, it's front and rear. tinted glazing throughout. The electric plug door does have heated element in the window. We also have heated electrical mirrors. So at the front of the vehicle Iveco have changed the grille slightly to allow better airflow. They also have their new signature LED headlights, which wrap around the vehicle and look very smart. There's also a step built into the bumper, so if you need to gain access to the windscreen wipers or the windscreen, it makes it easier. This vehicle is fitted with an electric plug door. Which fits 
sits very firmly against the vehicle. There's no wind noise as you're driving along with it. The control for the door is on the dashboard. When you operate the door switch, the hazard lights of the vehicle also come on. Other features on the dashboard are you have city steering, which once activated makes the steering extremely light for going around a city or parking. You have your fog light switch, headlight adjustment, central locking, you have your air conditioning and demister unit here, so you can adjust your temperature on this side and demister speed on this side. You have your interior lighting, lane departure warning, heated mirrors, door control and ventilation switch there your taco head, the button that controls the power to the wheelchair lift at the rear, extraction fan and you have your Hymatic gearbox shifter so you've just got drive, neutral and reverse, also have eco and power settings and then you press P for park, you also have an electronic handbrake Moving around to the other side, you have your buttons which control the air suspension at the rear which I'll show you shortly. The dash binnacle itself is very clear to read with your speed on the left and a rev counter on the right. Wipers on the right hand side, indicators and headlights on the left. Multifunction steering wheel which you can control Bluetooth hands free from or you can give a voice command to the vehicle got some interior lighting there you also have the switch that controls the air conditioning units at the rear of the vehicle so that is currently on number two there are two units at the back See, they've got the filter in front of them as well. They're blowing out nice cold air. There is a heater unit located on the near side of the floor. You can also specify an additional one on the offside. Every seat has a USB port fitted. So the seats in this vehicle are fixed, they're not reclining, but you can have them reclining. Got three point belts. Also got an armrest on this one. Single glazed on this vehicle, but I believe you can specify double glazed. Overhead luggage racks on each side of the vehicle. LED lighting. And you also have speakers built into those luggage racks. The seats at the rear of the vehicle are on tracking so it can be removed for wheelchair passengers or if you just want to increase the leg room. The wheel arches don't intrude into the interior too much. Given how much clearance there is on the vehicle, it's not much of an issue. In terms of leg room, six foot two. It's not too bad on the offside. About the same on the near side. Build quality in general is very good. You've got the wood effect flooring with aluminium finish. It's got a 
an escape hatch built onto the roof. Headroom, there's plenty of headroom in this vehicle. I can stand up fully and not touch a roof. All the fabrics used are very durable. So you've got 22 seats in this vehicle at the moment, but as I said, you can configure it to how you wish. This is the longest wheelbase version they do, which is a 4100L model. So that is 7.6 meters in length. Rear windows are also heated. The one thing I did notice on this vehicle is a lack of an interior mirror. I believe that can be specified as well. Moving to the rear of the vehicle. So the controller for the wheelchair lift is located there. As you can see, there's a tracking to remove these seats. High level brake lights up there. And the air conditioning unit is situated at the top rear of the vehicle. Which you can hear working now. Surprisingly, the rear light clusters are not LED, they're just normal bulbs. I believe a re reversing camera can also be specified if wished. We do have reversing sensors on this vehicle on each corner. In terms of the vehicle's rear air suspension, I shall demonstrate that now.
drive. Well, for a start, it's fitted with a suspended driver's seat. It's filled with memory foam, it's very comfortable. The engine is very quiet. And the eight-speed high-matic gearbox is excellent to drive. You barely feel the gear changes. Do have the ability to go through the gearbox manually which is an added bonus but nine times out of ten the vehicle is selecting the right gears for itself driving alongside the River Thames in Pangbourne, Berkshire. Very scenic. The Iveco Daily Line does come up with a whole host of safety features which are listed at the bottom of the screen now. They're all to assist the driver. Plenty of safety features. You also have the city steering option. So if you're in a town or a city, there's plenty of roundabouts and such like, or you're trying to park, that aids the driver by making the steering much lighter. And once you're back out on the open road, you can switch it back to normal. are also smooth in operation but you can get a Talma for this vehicle as well which depends on how many passengers you're planning on carrying and wheelchairs etc might be a good option for you Considering the daily line has quite a high ride height, it is surprisingly stable on the road, there's no body roll. It also gives you a better view of the road ahead. the vehicle at 30 miles an hour it's very quick to go up the gears to get the maximum fuel economy out of the engine but it's not constantly searching for a gear and when you get to the open road smoothly and quickly up to 50 miles an hour
if that isn't the gear for you, you can shift it manually and it will go into manual mode. And it also displays on the dash binnacle what gear you're in. In conclusion on the Iveco Daily Line test drive, the vehicle is very well built, drives very well, should offer excellent fuel economy through the Imatic 8 speed gearbox and it also has configurable seating up to 22 passengers which can also be adapted for wheelchair use and it has air suspension to the rear of the vehicle. So overall, a very good package from Iveco Retail. Get in touch with them if you want to know more.